Hello everyone and welcome to this video review of Omega T3.1.1. I will not cover those improvements that are quite specific, like in this case, adding support of exported XML files from Illustrator to the SVG filter. And instead of discussing them, I will simply refer you to the description of the improvement on the SourceForge. Okay, and actually the first one that I want to show you is this. Allow using the, the TransUnit Ideas identifier for alternative translations. Alright, I have a project with an SDLXLIF file and I'm going to use an XLIF filter. I'm going to create an alternative translation. Let's see, like this. And by default, what Omega T does is it saves this alternative translation based on the preceding and the next paragraph segment. So here it uses this preceding paragraph for context and this as the next paragraph. And they both comprise the context for this alternative translation. So if this text occurs in this context, Omega T uses this alternative translation instead of the default one. But now we have another option for XLIF files. Which is to use the trans unit ID instead of the previous and next paragraphs, which is a more advanced and more useful option of course in case if you work with XLIF files because it is more accurate. Actually the context can be the same when you use previous and next paragraphs but the TransUnit ID is usually unique, quite unique. Okay, so I'm going to switch to TransUnit ID. And see how this works. Okay, let's pick this one. and create alternative translation. Let's go back into the alternative translation and see what happened. Instead of the previous and next segments, we now have the name of the file and the transunit ID. Actually, you can check the transunit ID by looking into comments. So if you switch to comments, you can see that the transunit ID for this segment in the XLIF file is this. So Omega T relies on this TransUnit ID. And more specifically, I can copy it, switch to the actual file, open it in a text editor, and find this TransUnit ID. Here it is, and here's the actual segment. So, what Omega T does now is it provides the ability to use the TransUnit ID as an identifier for alternative translations, which can be more accurate in certain scenarios. And, of course, it works only as long as you use XLIF as your source file. Alright, these two improvements are quite specific. I'm not going to cover them. So let's go to this one. I have a project with multiple files and Omega T allows me to change the order of these files in this window and in the actual editor but until this version I could move the files only one by one and now I can do this by multiple files for example I will arrange the files correctly right now in the order that I want them to go so I select two files and move them first then I select another three files and move them up yeah here we go this is the order that I want the files to follow, more or less closely mirroring the actual order of this of this content in the actual user manual. The next improvement is matching non breaking space when you search for a space. I created two translations that are identical except for the regular space and non breaking space. Right? Now I will search for this one, and by default I get just one 
result and the one that's coming from the seg segment number two where I have a regular space because I'm searching for a regular space but if I enable this new checkbox space matches non-breaking space I get two results because space matches also the non-breaking space this is a very very useful function because because regular spaces and non-breaking spaces are often used interchangeably and you of course want to find all the all the currencies instead of just w with one specific type of space okay the next improvement is sorting by column in the spell checker window I'm going to run the spell checker script now and as you see all the words that that contain potential spelling errors are listed in the order in which they go in the files and actually Russian words that I want to check are mixed with the German and English words so what I can do now is simply sort by column and get all Russian words in the end of this list of course this will now work for languages that are that use the same script as English or German but in my case it works perfectly I get all the words that I need to check in an easy in an easy way here and I can focus on just those words instead of going through the entire list okay the next improvement is two new possibilities in the check rules group script the main case script Okay, let's run it. QA check rules. And here we go. So we have two new types of errors found here. A untranslated segment. Okay, so it says empty target. And I can go to it. So there's no target. And I also have a segment where source is equal to target. So potentially untranslated segment I can go to this segment as well okay, and make corrections as necessary so two new error types that were previously available only through separate scripts but now they're integrated in the check rules script thank you for watching and feel free to like this video if it helped